Hey guys, welcome back to One India Home. If you're new, my name is Lillian, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about everything restoration hardware. So before you go shopping for another restoration hardware dupes, I thought that I would, you know, come through for you guys and give you guys a little tip, a little thing to know about restoration hardware. But before we get into the video, if you've been looking for a channel that is going to ensure that your true self is being reflected in your home decor and lifestyle, then I am your girl. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, like this video, and comment down below what you think about the video or anything else that you would like me to know. And let's get into the intro. A lot of us love the restoration hardware look and you know the vibe and everything and I also love it as well but before you go shopping for another restoration hardware dupe I thought that I would bring you guys five tips that you need to know number one you are too focused on getting the exact dupe of restoration hardware items and when you're so focused on doing that you're going to miss out on beautiful luxury items at the stores that you're shopping in because you're so focused on getting that exact same thing here yeah. oh this looks like a restoration hardware dupe if it doesn't look if you find a, a, a vessel that looks really good looks really unique because I'm all about unique items and you feel like it's not restoration hardware it's not in the catalog it's not on the website you're probably gonna miss out on it and I am telling you guys please don't do that and the reason why is because honestly you want to like be your own person and if you know my my theme thing on here is is for your true self to be reflected in your decor and if you're copying the exact same thing as restoration hardware because you're so you're really hunting for the same item you're not really going to bring a lot of personality into your home decor and don't get me wrong there are some items that I, that are a must to have when it comes to restoration hardware like there are a must to have but it really isn't that serious and the funny thing the funniest thing is that even some of us like i remember i used to do this some of us like we literally go into like the stores home goods um all the stores and you know take that restoration hardware catalog and be looking ah oh, this reminds me of oh i've seen this this reminds me of like can, can you stop stop it like stop buy unique items and if you see an item that reminds you of restoration or obviously get it and what i'm trying to say is that like obviously if you see an item and, and, and any store that you're shopping in that reminds you of restoration and you love that get it but what i'm trying to say is that don't go out there just so like being hung up on like if i don't get that same exact item if i don't see it here and i see other things that are looking good i'm not gonna get it and one thing I wanted to say is that if your idea is to get like to 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 get like lux item or you know something that looks expensive to the eye, then widen your interior designer's um, knowledge or interior design knowledge. Where when you see an item, you be like, yo, okay, this reminds me of this. This reminds me of that. Follow designers that are amazing, professional designers that are amazing that you can look up to, that you know you can get um, what's what inspiration from. That way, you're not just limiting yourself to what you just see on RH catalog. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like and think about it if everybody is having the same item how are we going to like create new things how are we going to like you know for instance studio mcgee like everybody wants a studio mcgee um blanket or whatever thing that she creates if she did not branch out to create her own like um her own identity in design her own identity in interior decorating you're not going to be looking for studio make things to be sorting out sorting after so this is what i'm really trying to say like create your own thing you know get inspiration from restoration hardware pottery but not the stores that you like and then do you and create your own vibe and that way when everybody's when people see your um decorating like yeah this is lillian yeah this is um um sophia this is uh when this um into your decorating thing people just know you like you're creating your own brand basically okay 
Number two, I don't even know how to say number two in a way that you guys are gonna really understand, so I'm gonna read from my notes. So number two is ins insisting <laughs> number two is insisting on that same item as a representation of all product RH carries. What I mean by this is that you think that one item is a representation of uh, everything that RH has, like a one lamp is a representation of all lamps, you know. I see a lot of this on YouTube when we see a lamp there's this one lamp i'll show you guys in, in, in on the screen there is one lamp that restoration like a, a what's the word a standing lamp that restoration hardware carries and everybody thinks that if they don't have that variation of restoration hardware lamp then it's not rh like i'm just like what are you talking about if you look at the catalog there are so many lamps like rh uses that other stores uses as well it is the the little <laughs> lamp and a lot of you even go to Ikea to get that same thing which is cool and all but it's not just the representation of a lamp that they have they have different items uh, for instance the cloud like everybody wants a cloud chair it's like yo like can y'all stop <laughs> but what I'm really trying to say is that there are so many items the the vessels are different vessels and if you really think about it right if you feel like our edge is just gonna have one lamp for every year and every year and every year that goes by, then they're not really being innovative and they're not really gonna stay in the market because they're gonna have a lot of competition. Okay, so I feel like when you actually look for unique items, there are some designers that look up to the, the, the junior designers or people like us that, you know, we didn't go to school for this, but we just love decorating. You're going to inspire like professionals when you put some unique items that you feel like looks good. You know what I mean? And those designers are going to actually kind of, you know, copy, you know, so like Kylie Jenner over there copying all these people. Mm, but you know what I mean? Like, you need, just need to think about other things. There, the lamp and other other vessels are not are just a representation of what RH is. RH has a lot of other products, and if we feel like whatever is in the catalog is gonna be is what you want to represent, and all like I don't know, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. But what I'm saying is that there are other lamps, there are other vessels, there are other couch. You know, that's really what I want to say. Let me keep it moving. <laughs> Number three, number three is copying the exact, <laughs> the exact, the exact same layout and products that you see in the showroom. Honestly, you guys, you're not going to bring the whole showroom to your house. Like I, I, I don't get it. Like the showroom is supposed to like give you that wow factor, and you're supposed to get inspiration from it and go and create your own personalized home. You know, your personalized thing. And then I see a lot of this. Like everybody wants that. Uh, I'm gonna show you an RH. Um, this is my RH living room. Like. Say RH inspired living room, you know? And you guys, I do not, I feel like you cannot just copy and paste um, the whole thing of RH catalog and put it in your home. Is it that you like the layouts? Okay, I like how they put the mirror and all that. So then I'm gonna go and, ch and check for items that I actually like and then put that layout in that way, not using the exact same product. You know, I can use a few of their products, but I would also use products from different stores and everything. You know? Or if I do decide to use a product, I could, you know, put it in a different layout, you know, give a different design as to how you put the, 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 the furniture that you're bringing in, the, the items, the vessels, the lamps, the, you know, just show us something different, not have, um two bookshelves and a mirror of the same exact thing of our age like the whole living room is like our age it's like yo <laughs> let me tell you guys do you y'all do you but i'm just like this is the thing i've noticed and i'm just like y'all let's stop copying and pasting this thing like let your personality shine through i don't even know how much i'm gonna say this but let me go on to the next um what you call the next point okay number four is like we tend to attach high end like expensive furniture to our age like um if it is not expensive it's not our age like that's a lie 
let's stop it i feel like you can actually get the rh look that's why you guys go for dupes and all that stuff at a less expensive um what's the word at a less expensive price so you don't have to like to say if everything is expensive oh it like that's not it <laughs> that's not it and i was watching one of one youtuber like that and, and people were like well you know you like rh rh is expensive but it's like no <laughs> i like rh and i look for items that you know reminds me of rh and then i get it but the thing is that as i mentioned in number one and point number one you don't want to like go crazy hunting for the exact same thing or the thing that looks like a dupe like if you see an item that looks good and you feel like you have the eye for um design um what's the word for luxe items then get that you know it's gonna bring you even people are gonna be asking you where did you get that you know so don't really attach expensive items to like restoration hardware. I know restoration hardware is expensive, but I really feel like you can create your own thing. You can create your own, um, a lot of people are doing that on YouTube. You can create your own um, vessels by you know, using um, plasters, um, baking sodas, you know, you, there's a lot of DIYs to like kind of give you that RH to put that break in your bank. That's number four. Let's move to number five. Number five, I feel like you guys are gonna kill me for this. <laughs> you guys are gonna kill me for this, but you do not, as I said, you know, I was saying earlier that you can change some vessels to kind of give you that RH look. But number five point is you do not have to change every vessel or every item that you see to a, a restoration hardware inspired like you do not have to some things are as good as it is like some things are perfect the way it is sometimes you just need to change the color and it's perfect you know sometimes you don't need to do doing too much to an item like for instance my kitchen islands like i showed you guys the stuff was yellow and then i was able to change it to black and that was good enough for me like sometimes the rh look can come from your color palette it can come from your the way you put items together it doesn't necessarily have to come from the item in itself you know so you don't go crazy doing all these things and every item every um vessel that you get that's early good looking for instance let me show you guys this vessel so this vessel it already looks good on its own like I do not think that I need to do anything else to this thing, honestly. It looks good like this, it's fine like this, there's nothing else to be done. Okay, this, this looks, it looks good right now. And I will see some of you guys trying to put plastics and baking soda on this thing. It is fine like this, unless you want a different color that you can paint it black or white. But like, to do anything extra to make it look old, it already looks vintage -y. What else do you do? What do you want? <laughs> what else do y'all want? It looks good like this. So I see a lot of people changing all these things. I'm just like, if you're not changing the color or anything, or you're doing extra things to it, you don't really need to. Like, there's nothing else to do. It looks, it looks good enough, you know? So that thing that's really all I wanted to. This is gonna be a short video, so I really wanted to talk about that with you guys. But anyways, what I'm really trying to say today, you guys, is Go out there, see items that you like that is going to look good in your home and get it. Tell us whether you're a Pottery Bond fan, a Studio Miggy fan, or whatever designer that you, your other, or store that you're into. Just, you know, do you. Do you. That's really what I'm trying to say here. Anyways, so this is the end of my, <laughs> this is the end of the video. I am so sorry that it's taking so long for me to like create content, but it's been like a crazy like year, but in a good way. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.